Claude, your nephew were down just about three weeks ago, I guess. And uh, they got some major healing, didn't My they? My sister got totally healed. She has no more pain. Tell them what she had. Oh, she had pain from her. She had 17 shots in her neck and her head for pain in her cervical spine. All the way down, she's got fibro. Yeah, and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, she has no more pain. She's totally healed. And her son that was here is totally... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. One at a time. Okay. <laughs> and you guys to catch this. Okay, she totally... She had... She's had this pain for several years, right? Oh, for like 15 years. Like 15 oh, years. Time. So they've given her... She never could do anything in the house, and now she wants to do... All kinds of stuff. Okay, and she was, it was a Friday night, I think, when she was here, and we prayed. Several it people prayed. Three, it took three days to took, actually... took three days for the full healing. It began that Friday night, yes. and it just kind of manifested she, over three days. she fell down in my house, and the pain came back. So we prayed over her, and the pain left. Then two days later, the pain came back on her right side. So we prayed on her right side, and it, it got better, and then it moved to her left side. We prayed on that, and then it moved to the middle, and then I thought... Oh, that's an afflicting spirit. That's an afflicting spirit. Yeah. So, so we, we call those Velcro that. demons for a business. Yeah. And we just take the cord over the same and rip them off. So. And, so, and, and then the Lord showed that she had some unforgiveness. Of course, she said only two people. <laughs> only two people she had. Well, that's okay. So so we, <laughs> it's not okay to unforgive no, us, but, <laughs> So we took care of that, and she's been healed ever since. That's an amazing testimony. Yeah. That's awesome. Pain-free after 15 years of that and not being able to do housework and things, yeah. that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, so your nephew... So now she's got a honey-do list. Now she's got a honey-do list. <laughs> I thought only the husband's got those. Okay, so now your nephew, then, you told me this morning, he, we pray for him for his heart condition, yeah. what happened? Well, he has asthma really bad. And went to the doctor the other day. The doctor said he's 100% healed. Of and so, okay, that's what we call a drive-by healing. <laughs> because, see, we were praying for his heart condition, and so he got healed of the asthma. We weren't even praying for the asthma. That's just the presence of God and what God's doing. So, and so we're not sure yet about the heart conditions, although yeah. something was happening. He's yet to see the doctor about the heart. Right, have to run he's going to have a... Surgery where they go with the veins right. and look up in the heart. So, yeah. so Lord, we're just believing. Yes. And his name's Samuel, right? Yeah. Lord, we're just believing, yes. Father, when the doctor does his procedure in June, that Samuel is completely yes. Yes. healed. We declare that over him. So you get the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Isn't that good? <laughs>